Celia Clinton in November and did a fire safety presentation as well as read Sparkle's book, Sparkle's a Fire Safety Dog. And the book helps reinforce the fire safety messages that we taught that day. So we just shared the fire safety tips and when we heard the stories um, from the families and the two girls, we were just so thankful that they knew what to do and that Sparkle's was able to help them know what to do to get out and stay out. Great. I was still asleep because it was in the middle of the night. And I was wrapped up in coverage. And then how did you know it was a fire? Did somebody wake up? Smell the smoke? What happened? I, the smoke went into the cupboard where I was at. And I smelled it and I woke up my daddy and said, Daddy, wake up! There's a fire! And then he, he woke up but he didn't get out. But he's okay now. Mm -hmm. yeah. He had to stay in the hospital for a while, didn't he? No, a long time. Yeah. And I was worried about him. But you told him to do what Sparkles told you to do, right? And what, what, did Spark, what, what Sparkles teach, teach you? To crawl on the ground and, and get out and stay out. Good. Sparkles is a pretty smart dog, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, I was running down the hallway and I seen Miss Davis. I was like, Miss Davis, um, our microwave caught on fire and um, my little sister, I told them what to do and go outside and um, and they got out okay. Okay. Good job. My name is Karen Riggins. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm going to speak a little bit about fire safety. Um, some of the things that, you know, that schools teach the kids and stuff in school, you know, a lot of parents ought to take a, a knowledge of it and, and, and read their material and, and, and read it with them. Um, for example, my daughter and I, we had a big, large fire at our home. You know, we had a total loss. And she, she used the book. And she used her training that she learned in school, which got her to safety. And Dad had to be Dad, of course, and, you know, didn't go by the book and went back in and, you know, it should have stayed out and went back in the fire and uh, actually ended up in the hospital for um, you know, a little bit over a week and four days of intensive care and still can't talk. <laughs> but um, I just got just let everyone know that uh, what kids do learn in school uh, does, does mean a lot. So parents need to take knowledge of it and make sure they read that material and go over it with them and go over it with them. It's never enough. Guys, it doesn't take that long. It takes three, four, or five minutes before you can end up like me, where you can't talk at all. But in the house, so I went back in the house. Um, but she was out on the front porch, so she was out, out, out for safety. She, so she, she knew she, how to crawl she, Yeah, and that's something that she had learned in school just two months before. And I was really surprised that it's a summer shoot. Yeah, that's uh, a real big, important thing. It could mean a lot.
Bye. 